So Alex Pavlov, uh, which I don't know, <laughs> sent a, a comment in one of my videos that says, I'm using QuickBooks Desktop Pro and I have a vending machine business and I have inventory in multiple locations. How can it possibly manage uh, inventory in multiple locations without moving to QuickBooks Enterprise? Can I use a custom field? Please advise. So short answer is with QuickBooks Desktop Pro or Premiere, there's no way for you to manage multiple inventory locations, period, full stop. You need to be on QuickBooks Enterprise Platinum to be able to manage multiple inventory locations. But the nature of the question, I think what you're asking is, is there a workaround? Okay, so I'm going to give you a potential workaround, not perfect, but it might be useful depending on the context of how you are working. So let's go to the list menu. And then we're going to go to item list. Again, we were assuming that you're working on QuickBooks Pro, which doesn't have multiple inventory locations. And uh, there's some there's some items in my item list now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create some new ones. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an inventory item that's going to be the actual inventory location that you will be using. So I'm going to click on item, new. So I'm just creating a new inventory item. This is going to be an inventory part. And then I'm going to call this one uh, warehouse. Okay, so an inventory part is my actual inventory location. I know it sounds weird, it looks weird, just follow me on this one, okay? Uh, on the description, I'm gonna put here, do not use, and here, do not use, okay? That way, people don't actually use it. Right? So I don't wanna use it. Um, also, to kind of scare people from using this thing, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of nines in the cost and a whole bunch of nines in the sales price that way if somebody actually happens to use this item it looks like a ridiculous number and hopefully hopefully they realize they're using a part number that they're not supposed to be using right we're doing a workaround for multiple inventory locations so there's warehouse and then i'm going to click ok then i'm going to uh, right click on warehouse and then i'm going to click on duplicate item and i'm going to call this one location b location b right and then i'm going to hit ok and now I have basically two locations, location A, I mean warehouse and location B. So just imagine for a second that these two are my inventory locations. Now, uh, I'm just going to take one of these current inventory items that are here. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, move it to make it a sub item of warehouse for a second. And I'm going to take another one of these items. Let me grab this one here. And I'm also going to make it a sub account of uh, the warehouse location. And I'm going to hit OK. For the time being, I'm gonna go ahead and make all these things inactive. Uh, so, okay, I'm gonna make everything inactive here so it doesn't bother us and we're looking at just one thing. Perfect, all right. So now I got um, a warehouse that has two items. So basically my sub item, and let me just edit this for a second, is basically an inventory part that is a sub item of a parent item, which in this case we're using in lieu of multiple inventory locations, and we're calling this uh, warehouse. So I have in only one warehouse, I basically have these two items. I have 73 in stock of this one, and I have zero in stock of this one here. So let me just receive some while I'm at it here. So let me go to enter bill, and uh, let me go into items. And then what's the name of this item? Let me just oh, expand this for a second. Okay, there you go. And then let me bring in a hundred of these. And I'm just creating the bill, so I bring in some inventory in there. So now I got a hundred of this one and 73 of uh, the second one. So the question is, how do I transfer, quote unquote, inventory from this item, uh, or from this warehouse to the other location? So the workaround here is that we're gonna create the item twice. Right? We're gonna create it under each location. So I'm gonna grab this one, right click and click on duplicate item. So I'm gonna duplicate the item, and then I'm gonna take out this uh, dupe word that comes up every time I create the item, delete that, and then I'm gonna make it a sub item of location B. So I'm giving it the same name, but I'm putting it as a different uh, sub item. So in this case, we're tricking out the uh, parent item, the sub item, into thinking it's a sub location. The same thing I'll do with this one, right click and click on duplicate item, and I'll delete this here and I'll make this a sub item of location B. So I'm gonna hit okay, and there we go. So now we're, we're down to uh, two locations with the exact same item, or exact same item name in this case, and some one has look inventory and the other one 
uh, does not. So the way I'll, I'll transfer the inventory, let's call it that, is basically by doing an inventory adjustment. So if I wanted to move 100, uh, let's say 50 of these items from uh, warehouse into location B, I'm gonna do an inventory adjustment. So I click on inventory, adjust quantity value on hand, and then I'm gonna come in here and select the item. So notice uh, I'm gonna have the item basically duplicated as sub items of two different parent items. So I'm gonna do the 55 here, and I'm gonna say new quantity or quantity difference, negative 50. And then I'm gonna select the same item or the same item name under the other location and put here, in this case, positive 50. Okay, so essentially what I'm doing is I'm maneuvering or moving uh, items from one place to the other. Let's say I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna move 20 of the other item. So I'm gonna move, let's say 20 of these. Let's select it from warehouse, there you go. So I'm gonna move 20 of these into the same item on the secondary location. And we'll do now 20, sorry. This, is, this actually should be 80 or negative 20, so this is it. So I'm on the quantity difference, I'm, I'm removing 20 from the warehouse and I'm adding 20 into location B. Same thing with uh, warehouse. In this case, I'm moving 50 for one and putting 50 on the other one. So basically what I'm doing is I'm creating multiple items inside QuickBooks, tricking QuickBooks into thinking this is the exact same item and I'm doing inventory adjustments tit for tat to just basically move it around. Do I love this? I absolutely not. I I hate this. Uh, I have to select an income, uh, a cost to goods all account here. I'll just pick that one. I actually hate this, absolutely hate this. Every single client I have implemented this with gets tired of this process, very manual, very error prone. It can create a lot of problems, but I understand if you already bought QuickBooks Pro and paid 200 bucks, it makes it very diff diff difficult to move to QuickBooks Enterprise, which is, at least $2,000 a year, so I get it. Um, but in the long run, as your business grows and inventory grows, you're gonna have to weigh in, is it worth it doing this whole thing uh, to save a couple bucks a year eventually as your business grows, it won't feel like that much money. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and close, and then I'm gonna go into reports, inventory, inventory, stock status by item, and you're gonna see exactly what my inventory looks like. So notice that, under location B, I got my two items there, and I have 50 and 20. And under warehouse, I have my two items there, and I have, where's my quantity? There it is, uh, 80 and 23. So I effectively transferred the inventory across locations. I'm just using items and sub items to do that, okay? The other uh, thing, the other potential problem that this could have is, well, now I need a report that tells me how much of this item I have across all my warehouses, then at that point you really cannot do it, okay? Uh, because there's no way to cross-reference a sub-item uh, of one parent item to another sub-item just because it happened to have the same name. The closest thing to that is to run the inventory, st stock status by item, go to customize report, go to filters, and then go down to item, and then click on the drop-down menu and go to multiple items, and then in here select two of the same essentially, so I'm selecting two of the same. I can use a search box if they're not that clear because I have a lot of them. I can type here 5030 and I'll narrow them down. So I can just select uh, the, the two items across two, three, four, whatever multiple locations I have, hit okay, and then okay, and then essentially I can see them uh, both sort of narrow down in there. I'm still not gonna get a total, total, total. I would have to bring this into Excel um, or, or, or and do some manual calculations in Excel to be able to get some sort of calculation like this. Unfortunately, really, that's as much as uh, as we can do at this point. So anyway, I hope that answers your question. Uh, a workaround for quote unquote multiple location tracking inside QuickBooks Pro or Premiere.